Hi guys, today I want to show you how to create a custom connector for uh, ChatGPT. So firstly, let's go to the make the website make.powerapps.com, then go to the uh, dataverse and then custom connectors. Uh, we just create a new custom connector from blank. So we just give it a name uh, like the chat GPT GPT dash hello smart okay let's continue and here we just upload a logo for uh, icon for that okay i just use my uh, icon okay uh here is a background color whatever we just leave it blank and here is a schema we have to set it to uh, https the host here so we can set the host to api.openai.com that's it and the base UI, I'll just keep it default. Go to security, uh, we choose the uh, authentication to API key. Uh, the parameter label, whatever it is, you can set to whatever you want. Uh, here, I, I would like to set it to API key. And the parameter here, uh, parameter name here. So you have to set it to authentication. No, oh, sorry authorization authorization um, the premium location we set to the header is default value header here we we have to create a new uh, action you know for you know when we create for example when we create a, a, a custom uh, no create a power automate flow so we when we add the connector so there's a, a bunch of actions available for that one Right, this is a action. So we just create a new action here. We give it a name, uh, like the uh, query. Sorry, here, here. Yeah, query. Uh, GPT chat GPT. Okay, description we can leave it blank. The operation ID. Yeah, maybe we can set the same. Just to make sure it's unique. And here we just keep default. The request here, so that means we need, need to set the uh, the body and part of the header and the method. So for the query operation, we have to use the post uh, method and the URL. The URL, we can follow this URL. It's uh, uh, dash v1, no, slash v1 slash complete completions. The header, we have to add the uh, the content type here. It's content type, content dash type blank, followed by a blank, the application uh, slash JSON. Um, for, for, the, for the body, we can uh, add a sample, uh, sample code here, sample data or structure. Uh, we can set to model, uh, but it, it, it has to be, you know, for the model value, it has to be a text deficit uh, uh, dash zero three for now. Um, promote is, is, is our questions, right? You can set whatever uh, question uh, you're interested. And the max uh, token set to 100. Um, so the token means uh, the length of the response you will receive from uh, ChatGPT. So, and also, you know, the, the token, you know, uh, ChatGPT will charge uh, based on the token. And temperature top that, uh, and score P, uh, the just, you know, we, you can check uh, the ChatGPT document for uh, for the detailed uh, introduction of the two, uh, two parameters. And then we'll just go to the, uh, uh, the oh no, sorry, just click import. And by the way, uh, if you when you do that, if you uh, if 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 this button is keep uh, is gray, uh, so you can just click put, it it will be uh, be active. Then you just click back to post. So the import button will be available, just in case if you when you just create this when you import from sample, this button is inactive. Okay. 
Then next, uh, we just uh, uh, go to the code preview uh, stage, then just give default, then test. Okay, here, uh, so it means we have to create a, a connector firstly. Okay, just cre create the uh, connector. Uh, it will uh, take a while, I'll just wait. So, okay, uh, during the waiting, uh, so if you don't uh, have the uh, the API key, so here, okay, so for the new connection, we have to create a new connection firstly. So here, you have to input your API key. If you don't have API key, so you can go to uh, the ChatGPT website, uh, sign in firstly, then go to the platform.openai.com slash all count slash API dash keys, then go to the API keys, create your own API key. Then just copy the API key, then paste, paste here. But just to remember, you had to follow this format. You have started, you have to start with barrier followed by a blank, then followed by your API key. You have to follow this format. Just remember, starting with barrier. Okay, just uh, paste it here, then create. Okay, um, well, it's um, jumping out. Okay, so here you can see the connection has been created. So that means this, so you can use this connection in your uh, Power Apps or Power Automate now. But let's do some test before uh, we use that. We use it in the Power Apps or uh, Power Automate. Let's go back to the connectors and uh, uh, open the connector you just created. Then go to the test tab directly. Okay, you can see the connection has been created. This is connections you just created. Um, the, here is the content type. You have to set it to application slash JSON. Uh, then the body. Uh, so you can just input one by one, but and also you can just use the raw body. Um, yeah, just input this uh, JSON code here and test operation. So you can see, um, firstly, the standard is 200. That means you have, uh, your operation has been, uh, ha has succeed, uh, succeeded. And uh, the body, in the body, you can see the text here, the choice text here, uh, it's uh, an array, array uh, the first uh, item, the text is, uh, is the answer from chat GPT. Okay, so that means uh, this, connection has been working well. Next, we need to set up the response uh, structure. So copy the body, all the information here, then we just uh, go to the definition, then go to the response, click add default response, then paste here, then just click import. Okay, that's it. So we just update connector. So that's it. So um, for now, the uh, this uh, custom connector has been ready to use. So in the next video, I will show you how to create a, uh, a Canvas app uh, using this uh, customer connector. So see you next time.